We have some more breaking details on the Russian invasion of Ukraine. We're learning that a key U.S. ally, French President Emmanuel Macron, spoke with Russian President Vladimir Putin today, the first Western leader that we know of to speak with Putin since he launched this invasion, this war on Ukraine. Joining us now is the French ambassador to the United States, Philippe Etienne. Um, Monsieur uh, Ambassador, the Kremlin describes a conversation between Macron and Putin as serious and frank. Can you tell us anything more about their conversation? Is there a diplomatic solution at all within reach? Well, first, thanks for having me, but also thanks for the reporting you do, you are doing in Ukraine. Oh, thank you. We have great, brave reporters on the ground there. It's important. Uh, our president called, had a, had a conversation with the Ukrainian president, President Zelensky. And after this conversation and in, in consultation with President Zelensky, he called the Russian president to demand an immediate end to the Russian invasion. And he was just about to, to start the meeting of the European Union heads of state and government, and he confirmed the EU, like the US, would adopt a package of massive sanctions. Mm -hmm. So he did this in this context. And, and did he get any word from uh, Putin about his intentions or whether or not... Well, you have seen the read Russian yeah. readout. You can imagine. Yeah. But we, we wanted to... He wanted to directly make this call that many leaders in the world have been doing and uh, doing it in the direction of the president of Russia the Secretary General of the United Nations, many, many leaders, asked him to stop this invasion. So you heard President Zelensky and uh, the Russian Foreign Minister as well say that they need Europe to uh, kick Russia out of the SWIFT financial network, that that's really the most imp one of the most important things that they can do. I know that there are sanctions going against Russian banks and the like. Um, why... The President Biden said earlier today that Europe is just not there yet. You're not ready to, to kick Russia off the SWIFT network. Why not? Well, though there are also very technical conversations, the very important, the two very important parameters are unity and the massive sanctions, the fact that those sanctions are massive. On the financial side, I heard this morning one discussion between you and an expert of finances and banking saying that what we are doing with Russian banks, with the access uh, or the impossibility of any more access of the Russian state and government to financing is very, very powerful and as powerful as if we used SWIFT. The philosophy of this package, first, unity, because it makes it politically and technically stronger. And second, to have a maximum effect of sanctions on Russia while mitigating or uh, minimizing the effects on our economies. This is a rational. And then beyond there are a lot of details and technical details. We have been preparing these massive packages for weeks now, mm -hmm. in particular between the Europeans and the Americans. And now we are adopting them very, very quickly, in a, a record rapidity. 80 years of relative peace in Europe ended last night. I want you to take a listen to how the NATO Secretary General put it. Peace on our continent has been shattered. We now have war in Europe on a scale and of a, and of a type we thought belonged to history. I don't need to tell anybody in France what that means, given uh, what the last time there was war on such a scale exactly. meant to France. But what goes through your mind when, when you hear uh, the NATO Secretary General saying that? Well, our president uh, made a speech to the French people this morning. He said that what happened last night was a turning point in the history, and especially for Europe and for our nation, like for all European nations. It is a reality. And we're seeing these heartbreaking images, people trapped in gridlock traffic trying to get out of Ukraine. Mm. Uh, is France preparing for a refugee crisis, potentially? The EU, as such, 
is uh, preparing all possible consequences. We, we, know, we know that some of our member states are at the, on the front line, which has consequences for their security, but also for a possible influx of uh, refugees. And we will also help those countries, and uh, we will also, uh, as European Union, you know France is holding the presidency of the Council of the EU right now, we will also um, have to, to follow this um, very important aspect. Uh, merci beaucoup. Uh, the French ambassador to the U.S., Philippe Etienne, thank you so much. Appreciate it. While Vladimir Putin is a lever, uh, conducting war against Ukraine, Russian police are also arresting hundreds of Russian citizens in Moscow for protesting. We're going to go live to Moscow next. Stay with us. Merci beaucoup, monsieur. What's my safe flight story? I'm a photographer, and when I'm driving, I see inspiration.